Xiaomi versus DIY. Let the test begin. So the outside measurement is EQI 2.5 is 156. Perfect conditions for testing. Similar conditions inside the tent. We will see how fast the air purifiers will and if they can take the air quality inside the tent down to zero. The Xiaomi purifier is what I really like about it. It, it has a very powerful fan. It can really take some air through and clean air really fast on the high volume but it's very noisy when it does that so you cannot sleep and it beeps every time you press it it has Wi-Fi inside which is not so nice and if you put it on sleep mode or auto mode it will not put through the required amount of air so I don't like this automatic thing I don't like the integrated thing I just want a fan I can regulate a big fan I can regulate with something like like this so this one is a very small fan and this is a very crappy thing that is like the connection is not really good maybe you can get a unit that has a good connection but I'm sending this unit back because this connection is not working but when the when it's connected when I pull the strings then it works quite fine because I can set it as I can set where the noise is how much speed fan speed I want so this is the power control you just turn it off and turn it on but in this test they will all be on max this will be on max and I'll put this on max setting so let's see how long time it will take for them to purify the air in this tent in the back and you can see the charcoal inside you cannot remove it it just completely integrated with the unit some mesh here I added some extra HEPA filter here just to make the filter last longer actually the HEPA filter around here is actually included with this unit and you can disassemble this and then you can put it on a on a different filter ah, it doesn't even fit the Xiaomi filter so I don't know how you will buy a replacement and then you can take take this one out and you can see it's it's like filled with holes it's not really good put it inside here ah and then you can put this one in so this is just some kind of an adapter for the real Xiaomi filters. Very, very strange. So this is how it looks inside. Okay, let's put it back together. Did you hear that? I just powered it on. And then I need to push the button again to power it on. So we have 117. So according to the machine, it's already after just above two minutes and the uh, AQI is one on this machine. But I don't really trust this machine, AQI meter on the machine. Next is the DIY. On max. It makes all these strange noises when it's uh, on max. The fan is just too small. I just want this on this one, please. Over two minutes and we are still above 20 AQI. But it's going down, so it just takes a little bit longer. Below 10 after three and a half minutes. This is actually impressive. AQI 1 after almost 6 minutes. And strange things happen when it hits 0 because it will turn brown. 
the reason why this one outperforms how far we can go down in the tent is because it's not so strong. When you put this very strong machine in, the the wall starts to collapse inside. We have under pressure here. The, the air is just getting blown out from the top vent. Even though I put some some HEPA filter on, it is not 100% like um, airproof. But it was much much faster to get down to uh, um, AQI below 10 compared to this one. It took a little bit longer time, but this one inside is better performing. I don't recommend this setup anyway. It just was just fun to test to see how how they perform and if they can get very low values. <laughs> and they both can, obviously. And this is of course faster. The setup you should have if you are in in a tent is that you need to blow air from the outside into the tent. And my recommended uh, setup is to have a pipe. This is a bamboo pipe. I like like natural products stuff. Join it with a rubber string thing, and take a cloth. Close the cloth somehow and then use another rubber string to attach it on top. It's blowing in the air from the outside into the tent through the pipe. We have our pipe going in. The cool thing about this test is that it got really low AQI and sometimes I even experience zero AQI in here. Much worse conditions for, for this because the, the purifier is out there in the bad air. Filter all the bad air and blow it into the tent and then because there's overpressure in the tent there will be exchange of air in here and higher amounts of new air with oxygen. At some point the, all the bad air is out because the air has been exchanged and we have very low AQI. So if you're in a tent that is almost sealed, even a house that's almost sealed, you need some kind of input of air, either through air condition or a ventilator. If you have a ventilator, maybe you can upgrade the ventilator and also have like a switch and then you put a HEPA filter on. These are very inexpensive filters that may might do it and then have an extra unit inside the house or inside the room that will purify the air. It's quite interesting that uh, how these air purifiers can inside a tent the, the values are very low of the AQI. I'm impressed. 